Hi, everybody. This is Jessica Stone at Stansberry Research, along with Brian Beach, the editor of Stansberry Venture Value. And Brian, uh, you have an accounting background. You do a lot of detective work when it comes to financial documents. But your portfolio has really gone south, as well as so many others. Uh, 40% losses, I think you've told me. So you got to be asking yourself, and your readers have to be asking, what now? What are you telling them at this point? What we've done is we've really kind of hunkered down. Uh, we stopped committing new money into our small and micro cap picks. These are, again, the most volatile companies in the market. We're just waiting for a sense of normalcy, and we're using this opportunity to do a lot of digging and a lot of research on some of these opportunities. So as you're doing your research, are you kind of coming up with a framework, a way to help explain what to invest in and what not to invest in, maybe what to wait on? Well, when we think about investing, you know, we, we, we're, we're looking at revenues, you know, because um, that's that drives everything that drives profits and cash flow and all of that. And um, uh, there's we, we start thinking about the kind of businesses that are uh, pulling their revenues forward. And, and some of the businesses are maybe pushing revenues out. Uh, and then some of the businesses, of course, the revenues are, are going to be impaired in 2020. That's sort of accountant speak forward mm. and backwards in terms yeah. of revenues. Right. But what is right. it? mean to pull revenues forward or backwards? Yeah, when you think about like a, a grocery store, they're pulling, when, when you see empty shelves where peanut butter used to be, but they're empty, seeing empty shelves where there used to be toilet paper, those are people who are pulling their June and May and July purchases into March and April, right? So that revenue got pulled forward. Revenue is getting pushed out, the big screen TV or the, the big uh, addition on the back of the house or whatever. Those people might have been planning to do that in April and May, but they've push that out. So then when we talk about pushing revenue back, that's what we're talking about. Now, in both of those examples, hopefully at the end of a few months, it all kind of evens out. Um, and so your 2020 revenues are about where it is, where they, where they would have been. Uh, the, but what you really got to look out for, uh, Jessica, is, is um, where, where re 2020 revenues are impaired. And, okay. and, what, and that's, you know, you think about uh, haircuts, for example, I've already missed one. Uh, this year and, and I'll probably miss another couple um, and I'm not going to go I'm not going to go in and get four haircuts to make up for that right so you know my barber is 2020 revenue is permanently impaired I'm not you know he's going to have a worse 2020 than he did 2019 it's not a matter of timing it's a it's a real impairment um, so those are the groups that, that's a group of companies we're really looking um, hard at because um, uh, they're getting sold off by the market and it might be, they might survive. Uh, and, and if so, then maybe that, maybe that this is a, an opportunity. And certainly the stimulus that the government is trying to do is trying to keep those companies afloat so they can survive. You also have, I think, another category, companies that are going to just explode because of what we're going through right now. Yeah, I was looking at a little company um, a couple, a week or two ago. It's not a very well-run company but they create software that enables professors to upload lectures online. So people knew the story. It's gone from 85 cents to almost $5 during the coronavirus. There are businesses out there that might um, benefit from this, you know, mm -hmm. or, or certainly uh, won't be impaired. And a lot of people don't feel lucky, but there are some reasons to actually be encouraged that this happened now. And that does relate to how you invest. This infrastructure wasn't in place five or 10 years ago. All of us that are working at home now, we couldn't be doing it uh, five right. or 10 years ago because they, the, the cloud computing infrastructure is really about five or 10 years old. So I got four kids running around um, trying to do their homework and meeting with their teachers through Microsoft Teams. And like all of this technology wasn't around 10 or 15 years ago. So if this pandemic had hit 10, 10 years ago, the, the economic impact would have been a lot worse. We're lucky that this pandemic that caught us off, all off guard has such a low mortality rate. If it had a 10 or 20% mortality rate, I mean, people would never, we would never be going back to work. I mean, the yeah. economy, you think the economy is grinding slow now. Um, if, if, if we were, you know, people couldn't pay mortgages, people couldn't, you know, get back to work because unfortunately they would, wouldn't have survived it. So yeah, it's kind of, it could have been a lot worse. Thanks for putting a frame on how to look at the companies um, uh, in plain spoken English and give us an idea how to look at them as we think about how to invest yeah. now. And if you would like to see more content just like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's all for now. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Jessica.